Hi Virgo, welcome to the Soul Song. My name is Nina. This is going to be your April reading. It's a general reading and uh, the intention here is to keep it open and see what kind of messages Spirit wants to highlight for you, what kind of advice is uh, coming through and of course what you can expect during this month. Okay. So I hope you're doing well. I hope um, you are calm and collected and safe and sound. <laughs> okay, so we've got happy, happy at the bottom of this deck. And uh, oh, we've got angel of love at the bottom of this deck. So interesting. Perhaps there's a new connection coming your way that is going to make you happy. Okay. This is not intended to be a love reading, but we'll see. Okay, we've got Go the Distance, Round and Round, Earth Magic, that's very much your energy. Woman Holding a Coin, we've got Deceit, okay, and we've got The Union of Hearts, A Love Connection Defies Explanation, wow. Definitely, you're feeling the love here, Virgo. I feel like that's what your focus is on, okay, during this month. And uh, if you have been especially separated from somebody, I feel like uh, there's a good chance that during this month you will reconnect with each other. And uh, for some of you, I'm feeling like you've you've been perhaps you know seeing each other in your dreams or you might be dreaming about them communicating with them in your dreams or telepathically okay however the case may be i will get more into this okay what exactly is going on here because that is a completely separate energy let's look at this first Okay, there's something about um, looking at things for um, from a long term perspective that is coming through here. Okay, um, I feel like for some of you, you have been perhaps doing something. Uh, be it in your career or in your love life or whatever the the situation may be, wherever this applies in your in your life, you've been doing something the same way over and over and over again for a very long period of time, and now in April, I feel like you have the opportunity to go back to doing that or just. Taking a look at that from a bird's eye view and realizing that, wow, there's another way for me to do this, okay? That I can actually have a second go at what I'm doing, uh, whatever the case may be. And this time I can do it differently. This is the right time for me to do that. This is the right opportunity. And uh, this time I'm going to achieve and go even further than I did previously, okay? So I don't know where that applies in your life. It could be your career, it could be um, some personal relationship, could be anything, okay? But there is a chance here, a second chance being given to you to do something different now and to create, okay, with the earth magic energy. I'm getting a energy of creating something for the long run and leveling up this time and going further um, and doing something doing the same thing but in a different manner okay completely changing your approach towards it so that's what's coming through and there's definitely some connection that is being highlighted here okay no doubt about that something that uh, you are going to focus on okay now I want to say um, this message that I'm getting here has to do with especially your finances okay 
Now don't be scared of this. It's just that I feel like um, this. I'm seeing this more or less as a as a theme for many um, uh, for many of us during this period of time when there is a lot of uncertainty, when there is a lot of uh, you know people are making panic based decisions and things like that because there's a certain set of fear that's going around us. Um, be really, really careful about somebody presenting an idea or something to you which is too good to be true, okay? Uh, especially, this could be someone who's who's very well-to-do, very affluent and connected is what I'm hearing. So they may have a lot of, you know, influential contacts and things like that. If they are uh, advising you, especially in terms of your finances and things like that, where to invest, what to do with your money, uh, what to buy, okay, things like that, uh, be really careful about that. Um, this card, actually, from my own personal experience, this was coming up for me a lot when I went through uh, a similar situation where uh, I was actually being guided to look at my bank account for for certain discrepancies and that eventually happened so i'm not trying to scare you but um, being forewarned is always good that's the whole idea behind these readings be really careful about uh, anything not just money okay anything that is of value to you could be a property could be um, even relationships for that matter okay Take advice from people, okay, that's all right, but don't uh, do anything that goes against your intuition and at the end of the day, uh, you don't have to do what somebody else suggests, so pay attention to your own needs, your own wants and uh, apply your own, you know, common sense and make decisions based on that rather than just following what somebody else is saying, okay, be be a little careful of that is what I'm saying. But I'm getting it's got more to do with, you know. Um, it's not spiritual. <laughs> it's not spiritual. It's not, uh, it's not really based on, um, I don't think it has anything to do with relationships it's got more to do with something that is tangible something that we um, we conventionally consider to be valuable okay so that's what's coming through let's see yeah this has also been coming up a lot the nine of pentacles um more than anything i feel like this is coming up for for us to remind ourselves of what already is in possession, okay, what we already have, uh, what we can create from a place of uh, more gratitude and going slow and really appreciating everything that we already have in our life in order to bring more of it into our life, okay, or even to sustain that at this period of time. That's what I'm getting here. Lots of cards want to come out for you. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we've got judgment here. Again, I'm hearing trust your own judgment. Okay, do not make any big decisions during this period of time. It is quite volatile as it is. So don't make risky decisions and choices. Otherwise, there is a chance of uh, you facing some kind of deceit. Okay, wow. Okay, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So that's your couple there. Okay, with the Seven of Swords. Interesting. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Then we've got the Chariot. The Fool. Okay. 
and the page of cups <laughs> we've got the page of cups twice the ten of cups and the knight of cups definitely some offer of love coming your way Virgo. okay possibly towards the end of the month okay we've got the devil the two of wands and the ten of cups wow you've got the ten of cups twice as well as the page of cups so this has to do with a new beginning in love okay that is what this is about and that's where your focus is going to be perhaps towards the end of the month it is going to require uh, you taking a leap of faith uh, having the courage to do so and uh, putting your heart uh, out there is what I'm hearing, <laughs> wearing your heart on your sleeve again, um, building on a brighter future for e with each other, okay, this is all that I'm hearing. Now this certainly could be a couple, okay, and they could be actually the ones who may be perhaps deceitful in some way so be careful about that um this is quite specific but you're perhaps dealing with a couple uh some of you who are not exactly what they are portraying themselves to be and there is some deceit there especially with regards to your finances okay so be very very careful about that um, especially in these times when there is already quite a bit of volatility and uncertainty some people really make you know the wrong use of uh, such times because people are more gullible yeah this one was literally spinning okay so it could be either way um this could also be someone you may have completely blocked from your life okay who you might have emotionally detached yourself from and this is getting quite specific but for some of you this could actually be family members okay so be really careful uh, of anyone who's trying to pull a fast one on you um, not not really not really good I'm not really liking that um, this could actually be someone you need to stand up against okay um, put up your boundaries against yeah and trust your intuition with regards to this Virgo. That is what is coming through again, okay? Because there are certain illusions around you, uh, but I feel like you're gonna do really well, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot being here, you're going about your business, you're doing what you can to, you know, uh, succeed to keep going forward to keep accomplishing to keep moving forward there's a lot of movement happening here and I'm not talking about physical movement because that of course is restricted at this moment but I am speaking about just movement in life okay progress that is what I'm talking about so you're doing what you can you are laying the foundations for the long term like we were getting initially okay focusing on that which you can accomplish and having perhaps a second chance to do something uh, differently this time so that it lasts for a longer period of time okay um, and for some of you this applies to a relationship as well okay so take it as it resonates with you but I am getting that you are on the right path you are on the right track so keep going keep moving forward and uh, don't be in a hurry and don't be deluded by or distracted by anything that is trying to um, push you off track okay because you have one particular track that you are following keep doing that keep 
going there keep uh, uh, keep on keeping on is what i'm hearing okay and don't look back all right and don't fall for any sort of like i said distractions or illusions including any sort of uh negative information or uh people trying to maybe bring you down um any sort of negative news that keeps coming up to throw you off track you know um i feel like you're going to be very grounded and and solid and uh, you're going to continue to uh exercise your will power and move forward in life okay especially when it comes to um doing the things and uh, looking after yourself in in the normal way trying to keep as uh, things as normal as is possible so uh doing whatever you were already doing but maybe up, applying a different approach this time okay i hope that makes sense and you're going about your usual responsibilities and things like that with a lot of courage and gumption so good on you i mean that's that's great that's exactly the attitude you should have now we've got the fool the knight of cups the 10 of cups page page of cups um <laughs> the two of wands the devil uh the 10 of cups and the page of cups again so this uh to me is some new relationship and i feel like for some of you this relationship is requ- going to require you to leave behind or um look past something that has been holding you back be it an existing relationship that you were tied down to um uh, or be it the fear of a new relationship but now you are at this crossroads and you are being presented this opportunity to move forward in a new direction and to it is going to require you to take that leap of faith okay but uh whatever the the situation may be personally for you i feel like there's so much fulfillment and happiness on the other side okay so if you're for don't what i'm hearing is don't let an opportunity go by just for the fear of what uh this could bring to you okay sometimes we are even afraid of something that is good because uh either we're not used to it or it requires us to um to just have faith and some of us uh after maybe a bad relationship or something like that we tend to lose faith we tend to lose our uh trust okay not just in others but in ourselves of maybe screwing up again okay but that's not the case you are being given a second chance at especially love now so you have a chance now to do it differently for go okay um provided you take that leap of faith because there is some kind of offer that is being presented to you <laughs> the fool holds this white rose here as a symbol of purity and innocence and that is where you are coming from okay and that is where this offer also is coming from so don't uh be afraid when it presents itself um you know go for that casual date if you can or just or try to open up have light hearted conversations flirt with this new person whatever is possible at this time do that because it's going to even bring you a lot of happiness and joy okay so don't let that opportunity go by for the fear of crossing um <laughs> um the bridge or yeah going the other how do i put this yeah crossing the road crossing the bridge whatever the case may be okay don't be afraid because what's waiting on the other side is something that's good okay so trust yourself trust your own judgment it will not fail you trust your own instincts 
and yes be careful of whoever that person is i am going to pull one or two cards just to get an idea of what what's going on here okay with this deceit thing here let's ask about that what is that about so this wants to come out Ah, okay for some of you this this could even be yeah again the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck so this is you being on guard okay which is a good thing i i like seeing that um i feel like you in intuitively know okay what this person is capable of or whether they are uh, worthy of trusting or not okay be really careful uh, but this is showing up as a fire sign individual but it doesn't really have to be this could be someone who is self-employed okay someone who is uh, very uh, like the life of the party sorts you know so I'm also getting someone who is very popular so I don't know who this is in your life but uh, be a little careful I'm getting a bit of a player, flamboyant sort of energy also. Uh, but this can affect your finances, okay? So be careful of that. Uh, it could as well be, um, in some cases, completely only with relation to uh, a, rela a relationship, okay? and not a anything to do with finances that could also be the case but sometimes they're intertwined right so having said that um this looks really good and really really positive so keep keep on going you're doing the right thing do not get distracted and when the time comes uh, especially in matters of love uh, take that leap of faith, okay? Virgo, see things from a fresh perspective. Again, there is, I feel like you really have a chance this time to do something that, um, to do something in a different way now, okay? So, I wish you all the best, Virgo. Do take care of yourself and I'm going to see you in another video. Do hit the like button and, um, yeah um subscribe to the channel that would that would be great <laughs> so take care and i'll see you again later god bless bye bye